Are we going to start using perplexity AI for all of our AI language chat model needs? Or are we sticking with the classic chat GBT and just saying bye bye perplexity AI? Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're going to be checking out perplexity AI. We're going to be comparing it to chat GBT because at the end of the day, we don't want to spend 20 bucks everywhere. I don't even know what the cost is for Perplex perplexity AI Pro. I'm actually going to find out right now. I've never used it before. This is completely fresh, but I'm going to basically gut check it based off my years of experience with chat GBT. That being said, I have seen some influencers in the space talk really good about perplexity AI. Oh, this is better than ChatGPT. 10 reasons why this is better than ChatGPT. Okay, let's actually find out if that's real or not, or they're just basically shilling some random platform. To start, we're just gonna go ahead and create an account here. So I'm gonna hit sign up. As we know, with most good platforms, you can get a free account. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just my name here. We'll say Corbin, I'm gonna continue here. Okay, username already exists. Someone is already me. I wonder if they have my old username. Let's see. Okay, perfect. And here we go. So we got $20 monthly, 200 yearly. So it really seems like ChatGPT set the standard there when it comes to how much you're willing to pay for an AI model because of the fact that that is how much Copilot is as well. No, I don't want to use it in the phone. Okay, we're in. Let's go ahead and start testing here. Also, side note, I have no clue how big this community is when it comes to perplexity AI. I've heard about it on Twitter. I've seen it on Twitter. So for all I know, I could get completely bashed in the comments right now because it's the next thing. So for me to test this fairly, I'm actually going to go ahead and pay for the 20 USD here so we can compare it between ChatGPT Plus and the Perplexity AI plan, which is called Pro. We are in. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here when it comes to AI image generation as a base level. Generate an image of a dolphin on a surfboard. Let's see what their model looks like. As we know, DALI 3 is used in ChatGPT. I actually don't know what model they use in this context. So it can't do it based off the prompt, but I do notice over here that it has a generate image option. Also, different way of structuring answers here. We got sources, answer, and then just relevant information. I'm gonna hit generate image here. Uh, choose style, okay, so it wants to fine tune. Let's just say photograph and see what it does. So there is our image. Let's go ahead and push it towards ChatGPT as well. So as we know, this is going to work, but first thing we will notice here is that ChatGPT gives us more ability to add more input. There was four outputs in Perplexity AI. This one, I have to basically, in order to compare the two, I have to add photography as it does not allow me to choose style customly. It has like four different style choices. So keep that in mind. If you are looking for an AI language model for the purpose of AI image generation, you tell me which image looks better your preference. I will say though, what is really nice about Perplexity AI, I do kind of like this user interface. I do like this user interface where it gives sources up here. It, it, like it's, it's utilizing more of the screen compared to the ChatGPT. So that is a plus so far I've seen on this end. Collection. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That is actually really solid. We can actually create collections, which is something that ChatGPT really needs because right now it's just chat, 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 chat. But it looks like we can actually create collections here. Let me see. Uh, vacation. You can add an icon. Option, option, optional. We can actually share it as well. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we're in this thread here. Uh, I want to go to Bali in December from New York. I, don't, I obviously we need to do at like budget uh, dates and stuff of this nature. I'm just curious on what this looks like user interface wise. Once we do that though, okay, threads. Interesting. Now, one thing I don't like right off the bat is that this suggestions is kind of annoying. I wish I could kind of minimize that and just deal with threads. So maybe there's a possibility in the settings. Okay. So you can turn this off if you don't want them training on your data. Default. Ooh, Dolly 3. Okay, interesting. So they're willing to take the cost there. AI model. Interesting. Okay, interesting. This is not bad. Although, like, obviously, we're going to use GBT4, right? I'll do uh, default though. GBT4 is the best model as of now. Let's go back to library here. Okay, for their discover page, I'm kind of confused on the correlation here. Cork is an increasingly being recognized as a sustainable alternative plastic. Is this supposed to be like sources that are quoted essentially? Let me know in the comments down below if you know why some of it has to do with AI and some of it is just really, really random here. It's like we have actually more features here when it comes to YouTube. Find me a tutorial on how to implement OpenAI with Zapier. Let's see how it does that. Interesting. Um, it seems like it has good results here. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is up there, but 
he seems like he really knows what he's doing in that context. So I should probably check him out. But that's actually, you know what, y'all? I mean, beyond this, I'm actually kind of I'm impressed by this. I was not expecting it to be this good. The fact that I think this is really good in the context that as of now, I'm going to chest a little bit of code in here. But so far, this does give the user a lot of the stuff that basically most people use these chatbots for, right? And it basically makes it so it's less like less of an open loop. For example, the image one where it's like only four options, less of an open loop, but it's more constrained, which could be a bad thing, could be a good thing, depending on how you use these models. You can search Reddit. Okay, this is very interesting. I might actually have to do more videos on this. Uh, let me try an attachment. Now, before I test this code, if you're familiar with my other videos, when it comes to coding in this kind of platform is custom instructions is fundamentally important here. And as I see here, it doesn't seem like it has custom instructions and it doesn't seem like it has the ability to create custom GBTs, which at least in my use case, when I'm building out software is pretty important for me, which maybe is not their like bread and butter. That, that might not be what they're focusing on here. As we know with ChatGBT, and even Copilot, we can look at images and derive code. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Zapier dashboard here. All right, so I'm gonna say based on this image, please generate the, go ahead and hit enter here. Let's wanna see what it comes up with. I like the logic flow. Ooh, okay, interesting. Sources aren't really relevant in this context. These videos aren't really relevant in this context code it's not horrible it's not horrible you can get away with this i would suggest if you if this part's interesting to you i would suggest you check out that video right there i go over why custom instructions is important and why i use it in chat gbt it really helps with just like basically making sure that you're not dealing with rabbit holes that lead you down to bad code that being said this isn't horrible um i would want the ability and i may be wrong here let me know in the comments to turn off stuff like sources turn off this kind of stuff and just focus on the code not bad though. So based off my use of like the last 30 minutes, I will say I am impressed by this. Although this doesn't have certain things that we see in chat GBT, such as custom instructions and creating custom GBTs on turn and on top of that, a GBT store. So if you value that kind of stuff, I would lean towards using chat GBT still. Me personally, I'm probably gonna stick with chat GBT still because the use case for this, I feel is more in the context of using AI language models to basically Urban beekeeping guide, <laughs> mirror interior design. How did drafts involve? I don't use uh, these uh, language models like this. Like my my productivity and workload when it comes to use, using these models is more in the context of helping me code and just building out different files. And you know, basically, I just want to get X Y Z done faster and just kind of talk to a model in the context of coding out stuff. If you want to use it more in the context of what is kind of described here and it's kind of more lasered in. This may be your switch, so it's up to you. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more stuff on Perplexity AI. Did I miss anything? And you've been using this platform and you're like, yo, Corbin, you missed a big part of this entire thing. Let me know about that. That playlist right now, right there, for now is just going to be a GBT playlist, but may transition to a Perplexity AI playlist. That's a random video, and that's my face. I'll see you in the next video.